but just give the give the 49ers credit. They had an excellent game plan. plan. Uh, they ran the football well, um, and the defense, you know, it didn't look great. And I, I want to get into a little bit more of the Odell and Matthew Stafford a play that you talked about. Now, when I looked at it, for some strange reason, the, the screen kind of got a little foggy a little bit. And I don't know if that was the actual game or the camera or what happened. But when he dropped back. It was back, the actual game. It was the actual game. They okay. Later. Yeah. Okay. So whenever he dropped back the pass and I looked at it, it was going to be all bad regardless because I seen those two safeties. I'm not sure why he didn't. They was right there. And I don't think even if Odell didn't stop the route, he, he couldn't make a play on the, a successful play on the ball. It was either going to get picked off or batted down. And. It looked like he was under duress a little bit. He threw it, threw the ball up, and it did look like he quit on the route. And this is something that they talked about when he was in Cleveland. They got the bye week. They're going to see, you know, what they're going to have to do when they looked at the film because this was all bad. This was a terrible debut, but I don't look at this as something that's to come. I mean, this team uh, on paper is talented. I mean, Cooper Cup is the top dog. We just got to get Odell acclimated to the playbook and um, get reps in. I mean, you can't throw a guy out there after signing him on Wednesday or Thursday of last week and expect him to, you know, produce you know these great numbers. I mean, even with the with the practice that he had, even before that, the 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 team, the Cleveland the Cleveland Browns had um, sat him out practices, their practices. Then he went to California. Los Angeles, and he practiced two, I think, like two practices before this game. And it just wasn't, I mean, it looked like they was unprepared. Just like you said, they didn't look uh, polished. The offense didn't look good. The defense didn't look good. I mean, and it resulted in a loss. I mean, it's, you know, plain and simple. You um, practice football to play games, and, you know, and it didn't, it didn't, it just didn't look like a good product on the field. Yeah. And, and I mean, you. Everybody has to understand this: is that not just because Tom Brady goes to a new team and first season, you know, they win the Super Bowl, right? And I think that that's that's a lot of the reason why we're looking at this team filled with stars and Stafford finally being in a team where he can go show what he has and show off his talent. Um, because, like you said, on paper, this this team is is full of stars. This team should be producing, but. We all we all kind of forget that it's their first year, kind of really lock and loaded. And at the end of the day, unfortunately, the standard is Super Bowl or bust for the Rams because of that's kind of that that Hollywood name they made for themselves because of all the stars that are on this team. Um, but I think we all really need to remember how difficult it really is to 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 really go off having a, a brand new new offense actually because at the end of the day. Sean McVay threw some new plays in there that he couldn't run with Goff, and now he can run with Stafford. New offense, new system, a lot of a lot of new pieces, and 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 I'm not sure. Maybe in these last seven weeks, we'll be able to see how they develop. Uh, but obviously, that's just the skill that Tom Brady has, and he's a goat for reasons. So.